Welcome to this Sage 50 U.S. edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to add, modify, and delete the general ledger accounts that make up your company's chart of accounts. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to add, edit, and delete general ledger accounts in Sage 50. Your company's chart of accounts is a list of all of the general ledger accounts that make up your general ledger. These accounts are used to classify transaction information that will be reported on financial statements. When you first set up your company in Sage 50, you are given the option to either create your own chart of accounts or base your chart of accounts on a sample business type. In both cases, you may at some point need to modify your general ledger account list to add accounts or modify or delete existing accounts. You can accomplish all of these tasks using Sage 50's chart of accounts maintenance window. To access this window, select the Banking Navigation Center and then select the Chart of Accounts icon. In the menu drop-down, you have three options, Add a New Account, View or Edit Existing Accounts, and Set Up Account Defaults. To begin, let's select a New Account. The Maintain Chart of Accounts window provides you with all of the settings you need to add and maintain the general ledger accounts used in your general ledger. Let's walk through a demonstration of adding a general ledger account to our chart of accounts. Suppose that we would like to track the performance of our patio related sales in our financial statements. To accomplish this, we will add a new income account that all patio sales revenue will be posted to. At the account ID field, we will enter an account code for the new account. How you number your chart of accounts is up to you, but it is recommended that your chart of account IDs remain consistent and logical so that it is easily understood by users that rely on the accounts for reports. One way to keep a consistent chart of accounts is to group accounts of the same type within a specific range of account codes. For example, if we view the list in the drop-down, we can see that all of our income type accounts fall within the 40,000 block of account codes. Keeping them grouped together like this also makes an account easier to find when assigning it to a transaction. Also, note that all of our accounts have five digits, a dash, and two characters that represent a company department. This account structure allows us to departmentalize our chart of accounts so that we can build financial statements that report on a specific department or area of the business. Next, we'll enter a description. Under the description, we'll enter the account type. This is a very important setting. Sage 50 Accounting populates financial statements depending on account type, not by account ID or description. For example, a standard income statement displays accounts that are of income, cost of sales, and expense types, regardless of the account's description or ID code. A balance sheet will report the balances of asset, liabilities, and equity type accounts. The account we are creating is an income type account, so let's select income from the list. When you no longer need an account, you can inactivate it, making the account eligible for purging. You can also create an initial balance for the new account using the beginning balance button. Please view the general ledger account beginning balances anytime learning topic to learn more about your chart of accounts beginning balances. The table below the header information is read-only and provides a quick glance of the selected account's history, including debits, credits, the period activity or change in debits and credits, and finally, the ending balance for each of the listed periods. To save the new account, simply click the Save button or click Save and New to save the account and clear the Chart of Accounts window ready for a new account to be created. The new account is now ready to be used in our business. Now let's take a look at how to edit an existing account. To do so, we will select the Chart of Accounts icon and then select View and Edit Accounts. The Chart of Accounts list window will display. Suppose that we want to change the purpose of an existing cost of sales account. We'll first select the account in the account list and then click the Open button to bring it up in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. Let's change the description. We'll leave the account type set to cost of sales. Keep in mind that changing the account type of an existing account will update transactions with the new account type and may update your financial statements in unexpected ways. Also, we would like to change the account ID code to reflect its new purpose. 
However, you cannot simply change the account at the account ID field and then click save. Doing this would create an additional account in the background with the same settings. To change the account ID, let's click the change ID button at the top of the window. In the change ID window, we'll enter a new ID at the new ID field. All transactions and reports associated with this account will now immediately register the change. Finally, let's look at deleting an account. Let's bring up the 40,000 furniture account and delete it. Notice that we received the error, the account cannot be deleted because there is a non-zero balance in some period. The best we can do at this point is to set the account as an active and let the purge process delete the account. So as you have seen, Sage 50 Accounting provides a quick and easy way to add and modify the general ledger accounts, your transactions, and your financial statements use. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to add, edit, and delete general ledger accounts in Sage 50 Accounting. Thank you for viewing this Sage University Anytime Learning topic. Sage University is your gateway to a wealth of product and business knowledge, including complete payroll training from reporting to troubleshooting plus year-end procedures that help you get the most out of your investment. Sage offers virtual hands-on learning enabling you to practice what you learn, real-time learning on specialized topics, and self-paced anytime learning available 24-7. You can either interact with a live instructor where you are able to ask questions or learn at your own pace. Best of all, you can attend all learning methods from the comfort of your home or office. Visit Sage University today to select the training that is best for you.